takes a village to educate a child said mahatma gandhi but what if you had a village which nurtures each and every child into a researcher and an innovator well deep thought wishes to work with 300 chosen students and groom them as leaders for the society and the economy you get to hear about other people's perspectives or something and also connect to what you might have learned before with this it might help you a lot even as socratic dialogue you don't have in school so what i do i spread build all the things and then i find the assumptions for the assumptions and for what's contrary in my perspective and that education is perspective and then question the teacher it's like a really fun method to learn a lot and also connect stuff and come up with new ideas and ways to execute those ideas but will parents understand and accept this kind of an approach to education that goes beyond the curriculum to make the child unlearn relearn and learn to learn well we believe that there are visionary parents who always been waiting for this kind of an approach to education while being suffocated by the mainstream system and he can think beyond the point and i mean every time whenever he discusses anything it is always Uh, in a very uh, i mean holistic manner he takes up the points in very very in a very clear manner uh, in terms of thoughts yes uh, i could see that that is happening but in feelings uh, we are not able to rate him properly i am able to judge my uh, child what where he is lacking which i was not doing i was not able to do uh, a few days back because i was not having these parameters before me So uh, at present, I am able to tell him that okay, because you have to do this also, you have to learn, you have to start doing this also. So uh, thank you for showing us this part. Because we will have to allocate more time uh, with him so that he will start sharing it. Uh, so some of those learnings are from our side only. Will teachers accept the opinion of students? Can teachers pursue the higher aims of education? Well, there are individuals. who wish to be the senior learners in the classroom and not teachers these individuals wish to learn and grow with the help of every child and with the help of the classroom here's a thought provoking question what is it like when a learner prepares himself or herself to learn something that they have never experienced before is it unfamiliar is it scary can we take the first step forward to break the ice and get familiar with it students come into the dt ice breakers to experience a smooth transition to help them break all barriers and to learn to their fullest potential the student workshops then open up a lab for students to experiment reflect and learn various processes from thought leaders across the world if deep thoughts mission is to nurture thought leaders out of children Why are we conducting research workshops for parents? Well, the pedagogy workshop is the parents' version of pedagogy. Here, parents go through the same journey as their child had in the student workshop. Parents are equipped with virtuous learning processes and habits so that they can create a research and innovation environment even at home. But how do we sustain the good learning behaviors of kids in the long term? The goal setting workshop helps parents and their kids discover innovative ways to set a goal and track the goal over 3 months. After all, who other than the parents can be the best learning buddy for a child? Why is deep thought being so choosy while picking the students and the parents for this revolution? Why do 25 thought leaders from 6 countries invest in deep thought? Why is this revolution very important? What kind of a difference does it make to the society and what kind of individuals will these children grow into we, we do not want to become a country of assembling uh, parts from different countries we want a country to be designers children should be given that uh, opportunity to experience those thought processes 
either we were all trained to be uh, assemblers or we are all trained to be management followers or what kind of environment now you are trying to uh, reawaken that spirit of instinct of humanity to actually start questioning and learning to live for the planet i did it without myself toy think about meta meta cognitive thinking so i was thinking about thinking about what i thought we are wanting research based education where every child is involved cognitively in research in the classroom in the spontaneous environment so thought leaders provide a universal lesson and that universal lesson i compare it with two one is wheat and one is chapati ready made chapati uh, when you have ready made chapati you can only eat ready made chapati but when you have wheat you can maul it to chapati roti and others so you, uh, the universal lesson will be more useful now this kind of thinking this kind of learning processes this kind of environments will give uh, will actually ignite lot of innovation so will it be not like a renaissance wherever there is learning and that learning has to be simplified and that has to be democratized and their deep thought is swami vivekananda said give me 100 energetic youth and i can change the entire india deep thought is saying he was 2000 visionary parents and we can change the entire world do share this video with visionary parents in your network so we can help them in doing the greatest charity ever giving the right education to their children so these kids grow as leaders for the society and the economy